Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Topeak Fast Fuel Bag Bolt-On Top 2 Bag. Top 2 bags are a convenient and simple way to carry more gear or snacks on a ride. The new Topeak Fast Fuel Bag Bolt-On is our latest compact and padded Top 2 bag, which can be attached to the bike using straps or bolted directly onto your Top Tube's water bottle frame location. As you can see, packaging wise is really simple. You have the bag itself attached to the cardboard backing with the straps, nice yellow and white branding that Topic is known for, specs printed on the front, and then instructions on the back. We'll go ahead and pull this off the cardboard and go over the specs. Retail price on this is $44.95. It has a 0.5 liter capacity, and it has a either bolt-on or strap attachment design, so you can either have it a quick release or use these pass-through holes to bolt it directly onto the frame securely. They have a scratch-free strap design, which is anti-slip and won't damage your frame's finish. And you even have a cool feature, which is the battery cable pass-through. So there's a little hole here where you can run a cable up into the front if you want to charge your devices. As well as a single large compartment here with that high visibility yellow color that Topic has on some of their other saddlebags. They're really easy to find objects directly inside. As far as what's included, Obviously, just get the bag. You don't get the hardware to bolt it onto your bike because you should already have that. You have the strap on the bottom, which you can use to attach it to your frame or remove it entirely if you want it to bolt on. And then a separate strap on front to prevent it from wiggling around. Now let's take a look at the weight of the bag. So with both straps attached to it, it comes out to 65 grams. As the product name implies, the Fast Fuel Bolt-On Bag provides quick access to fuel and snacks and can be optionally bolted onto your bike. You can use these little pass-throughs with the water bottle cage if you have that on your bike or just simply use these straps to mount it to your road bike or any other style bike. So you have a lot of flexibility here. It has a simple black fabric finish that is semi-rigid. So the bottom portion is rigid with the little reinforcements on the inside. Well, these sides are simple fabric with a little bit of padding. You have a simple sloping design, so it goes up to your stem here, and then it angles backwards for a little bit of a sleeker look, and it'll stay out of your way. You can see the width of it should be just about the width of your frame, so it won't interfere with your feet or rub against you, and should really hide on your bike. Branding is limited to the Topic on the sides, and that's about it. Otherwise, all black with a little Topic tag on the rear. With this, you have a single compartment. So you have a large zipper right on top and that reveals a big single opening. So you have a nice high visibility yellow color. This is a feature I really like about the Topic saddlebags as it makes it really easy to find things. As if this was all black, you really wouldn't be able to see it, but with the high visibility yellow, you can see all the way down to the edge. There are no mesh pockets or anything in here. So you just simply slide whatever you need and then just grab it. Having the zipper come down is also very convenient. You can see it goes all the way to the edge and has a nice rubber pull. To attach this to your bike, again, you have the straps on the front and you can see quite wide and long. This should go around your stem and then prevents it from wiggling around with this extra reinforcement here. And then you also have the bottom strap, which you can actually just pull off if you're not using it and then use the bolts or just use a strap if your bike doesn't have the bolt locations. The other cool feature here is the pass-through. So on the inside here, you actually have a little slot and you can see that opens up to the front and that lets you actually run a cable. So if you wanted to run a power bank inside here, you could charge your GPS device or other devices on here very easily while keeping the zipper closed. This is really similar to the Topeak Dry Bag X but it is not fully waterproof. Instead, it's just water resistant and has this nice padded finish. Now let's take a look at the bag on our Cannondale Synapse. Here we have it bolted on and we found it to be a really convenient way to carry extra gear. You have a big front zipper, very easy to use with one hand and you can pull snacks out, eat them, and then put the wrapper back in. And it's a lot more convenient than your back pocket, so you keep your pockets empty. And then again, if you're doing longer rides, it's really convenient to have that extra storage. The bag itself is well made and with it bolted on, it's nice and stiff. You don't have to worry about it moving, but the Velcro version does sway a bit. So you do have to be careful with that. 
And if you have a thicker top tube, it works better because you have more Velcro surface area. The other downside with this bag is that it is a fabric sidewall. So if you overstuff this, you may rub against your knees. So you wanna make sure you pack it correctly and then just put longer and thinner items. But overall, really nice bag and a great way to carry extra gear on your bike. Now let's go over the pros and cons for the Topeak Fast Fuel bag. What we like about it is they have premium construction. As with a lot of Topeak products, it feels really well made with all the seams and materials feeling high quality. You also have a high visibility yellow interior, which makes it really easy to find stuff on the inside. And because this is a larger bag, there's plenty of space for food and gear. So it's a great companion to have on your bike when you're doing long rides, as you don't have to stuff your back pockets. The main negatives with this bag is the fact that hardware is not included. So if you do want to bolt this down, you want to make sure you have the bolts and they have to be wide enough to not slip through the rubber grommets. Also, if you just do the Velcro strapping method, that single center strap can cause a little bit of sway side to side, depending on the frame shape. So if you have a thinner frame, you might not have enough Velcro area to really cinch it down. Taking everything into account would give the bag an 8.8 .8 out of 10. It's a well-designed and convenient top tube bag that's great for long rides. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com, as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.